Hi and welcome back to a new video here. We're going to be talking about the stem splitter in uh, Logic Pro 11.01 and uh, here I have an old track of mine that I did back in the early 90s and I want to get the vocal off it so uh, as you can hear it here um Why did love turn still? Did I ever So you can hear the vocal there, and if I if you hear, I've done a backing track already. So I re recreated the whole track uh, because I just wanted to redo this track. It was a little track I really liked, and I kind of liked the, the original vo vocal. And I was a lot younger then. My vocals were kind of clearer, maybe I don't know. But anyway, um, what I want to do is split that vocal out. And I've got it down here already. As you can see down here, I've already got it split out, but I'm going to redo it just to show you how I do this. So you right click, stem splitter is already up the top because I had done it before. But if you go to processing stem splitter, then it will ask you how many you want. So I'm going to just split them all out. I could just split the vocal, but I'm going to split everything out to show you how it's done. And uh, so this will split out. Now, if you come down here, uh, and just listen to the vocal you'll hear that there's some stuff going on uh let me just uh yeah that's good got that so go back a little bit and then where did we go wrong where did we fail will i ever hold you so as you can hear uh that's not bad the vocal i mean i can work with that now if you listen to the bass it's a disaster uh, <laughs> so when it's split out on its own you can it's kind of weird but if i if I listen to the, all of those those tracks together, so if I go, for example, solo, 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 and solo, and then you can. Here in my life. The bass kind of sounds nice. Uh, if you listen to the drums on their own, um, shift solo to take all the solos off. That's pretty practical. That is. Um, if I listen to the drums on their own. Uh, You could hear a bit of the music in the background in the reverb. So it all depends how it's recorded, I suppose. But I mean, this this, this track was recorded on an 8-track back in the early 90s and uh, with some MIDI stuff going on. And uh, it was, yeah, pretty basic. But the vocals were mainly on the 8-track, so that was pretty cool. Um, but uh, the vocal on its own is okay. I mean, I can work with that vocal. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but uh, it's it's pretty good. I mean, if you listen to it, it's... Did I ever have you? So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to mute these here for now and just listen to the backing track. So I've got my vocal split down here, as you can see it, and uh, I want you to have a listen to it now with the vocal that's been split out and inserted into my, and what I did is I cut a bit of the, uh, if you can see here, I've got a bit of um, the EQ, I've got a bit of, uh, uh, I've got to cut the, I cut the bass out of that a bit, high pass filter, and uh, yeah, so um, see, I kind of like that, it's looking good, man. Um, so let's have a listen to that. All right, let me just come back a little bit so you can hear it a bit in the context. We fell. 
And uh, we've got the original up here, which I need to unmute. Uh, take seven seconds. So you can hear the, the, vocal, the vocals here. Why did love turn still? Did I ever hold you? Again in my arms. So, as you can see, that kind of works out okay. And the, and the track sounds okay. I mean, I'm quite happy with that. It's just a demo of a track I wrote back in the day. And um, so, yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm not like 100% convinced that you can split everything out and it'll be brilliant, but vocals seem to work good. Drums and bass a bit different. Keyboards are might as well just replay the stuff, you know what I mean? But um, getting vocals out, that's really useful. And the backing vocals sound great. I mean, you know, it all sounds kind of... Why can I say that? So yeah, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like, subscribe. That's really, really important. And uh, I will see you soon. Ciao.